Terence breaks the ice. It was almost Christmas, and the tracks had become very icy. Whoa! The fields and trees were covered in snow, and there was ice on the pond. But none of that was of any concern to Terence. Terence is a crawler tractor with caterpillar tracks instead of wheels. He was working with the woodsmen. They were cutting down trees to take to Tidmouth for the Christmas market. Hi, Terence. Hello, Thomas. Are these all my trees? We're just collecting a few more. Won't be long now. I <laughs> see you're wearing your snowplow. Well, it's very snowy out here. <laughs> Not that you've ever been bothered by snow and ice. Your caterpillar tracks are proving as useful as ever. Oh, now they're useful, eh? You didn't seem to think so when we first met, remember? Hello, I'm Terence. I'm plowing. I'm Thomas. I'm pulling a train. Ooh, what ugly wheels you've got. They're <laughs> not wheels. They're caterpillar tracks. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. See? It's easy when you have caterpillar tracks. I don't want to go anywhere. I like my rails. I didn't realize your wheels were useful then. And as I recall, you also didn't realize your snowplow was useful then either. I don't like this nasty weather, Annie. Neither do I, Clarabelle. Uh, uh, Thomas, maybe you should go back for your snowplow. Just to be safe. I don't need that heavy and comfortable plow. Snow is silly soft stuff. They won't stop me. Cinders and ashes! I'm stuck! Oh, I'll have to stay here till I'm frozen solid. Oh, what a silly engine I am. But it was lucky snow never bothered me, and I was able to come to your rescue, Thomas. Thank you, Terence. I have to admit, your caterpillar tracks are splendid, and I'll never call them ugly again. And I hope you'll wear your snowplow in future. Remember, you have to be sensible if, if you, you want, want to, to stay, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that day, I've always worn my snowplow in bad weather. That's the rest of the trees for Tidmouth, Thomas. Yes. Oh, oh, very nice, Thomas. And um, perfect for the Christmas market. Uh, but, um, oh, uh, where's the big tree for Ulstead Castle? Um, what big tree, sir? D didn't I ask you to bring back a really huge tree for the Earl's Christmas Fair? Uh, you never said anything about that, sir. Oh, no. I must have forgotten to mention it. Oh, the Earl loves to have an enormous Christmas tree that he can decorate with tinsel and lights and... Don't uh, worry, sir. As soon as I've unloaded this lot, I'll go back and ask the woodsman to find the biggest tree in the forest. Oh, thank you, Thomas. That would be marvellous. <laughs> oh, uh, you be careful out there, Thomas. There's more snow on the way. Don't worry, sir. I'm wearing my snowplow. I really do need to be extra careful in this weather. Are you back for more trees, Thomas? Just one very big tree for Ulfsted Castle, please, Terence. Ah, uh, I know where there's an enormous tree. Just over there, on the other side of the pond. Uh, don't go over the pond, Terence. The ice might not be strong enough. I told you, Thomas. Snow and ice don't bother me with my caterpillar tracks.
Thomas. Are you okay? Yes. I thought I was being clever and I could go anywhere with my caterpillar tracks. I should have listened to my own advice. You have to be sensible if, if you, you want, want to stay, stay safe. safe. <laughs> I'm sorry I lost the Earl's tree, sir. It's more important that you are safe, Terence. I am, thanks to Thomas. Oh, look! I think the Earl's ready now. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Time to turn on the Christmas lights. Five, four, three, two, one! It may be small, but it's very beautiful. Thank you, Terence. Thank you, Thomas. And a very Merry Christmas to you all! 